What's going on? Move the mouse here back in City Skylines. With the dog huffing right below the microphone. She came to see me right when I started recording. Episode 2 of Industries. And uh, picking up right where we left off. Uh, I didn't show you that as uh, time passed, animals actually moved in. So uh, you can switch those over to different types just like you can with the crops. So you have pigs, cows, sheep, highland cows. you got some options there. But basically they all produce animal products. So food in to animals to animal products. And then we'll be able to process things once we unlock new levels. Let's just take a quick look at our farmland here. And we have 130 workers, so hopefully that will fill out. And then they'll have enough resources once that gets produced to feed the animals. And then we'll be able to get animal products, which you can export that if you want to. But you can also then process those and other things to export those things or to send them off to other industries for use as raw materials in production of furniture or toys or coats, whatever it might be. So there's a, a cool little supply chain management thing happening here, uh, kind of like Tropico 6 in a way. And I'm new to the Tropico series, so forgive me, it was probably in previous games, but it's very reminiscent of that. So if you liked the um, kind of supply chain management of Tropico, and you wanted it in cities, then this is definitely the DLC for you. But in the meantime, we've got a bit of industrial demand, but we've also got a lot of residential demand. So let's get going on that. Uh, budget for electricity is at 100%. Water at 65. Let's see where our needs are. Kind of on both. So let's raise the budget on water. We'll go to 80. And then power-wise, we're going to have to drop in, uh, what, our second power plant. So let's do that to start the episode. And then we can start working on maybe the far side of the park. Because again, I want to have kind of a large park here. And then we're going to have more uh, residents off to the other side of it. So let's go here. We'll come out maybe just 10 units from the park. I want to come down a bit. And then I'm going to do a little circle down here. And let's freeform this. See if we can kind of do this how I want. That's not too bad. That works. And what I'm thinking here is we can zone the outside of the ring. Go to the fill tool. I have my PC speakers up in the background. I don't know if you heard that noise. Somebody just subscribed. Thank you. Um, so yeah, we can move some houses in around here, but I want to leave this open and almost have a little park area for these residents down here. And then we'll get going on some other neighborhoods. So let's come down a good amount before we have our next cross street. And then we'll have some neighborhoods in behind there. Come down, say, 30 units. We'll come down to about there. So we got... We start a bit of a slope, not yet. And then let's have some neighborhoods in behind here. So like that, we can get one more in. It's too much overlap. We don't want, we don't want zoning overlap here. We want to be able to cram in a bunch of houses. And then why don't we bring a street here? It'll kind of dead end right there. And, and here and here, sure. But we're going to come in a little bit shorter here so we don't step on those houses. And same thing here. Oh, we can come up further on that one. Okay, let's get them power and water. We need that. Definitely need that. We'll carry it on through the main street because I don't know that we need to water the park necessarily. Depending on where we put buildings, we'll figure that out on the fly. Ah, may as well. It's on the grid. Didn't cost us that much. And then we don't have to worry about it later. Come on. Get get right in there. We'll bring it all the way over, sure. So everything that is zoned, or zonable at least, not zoned yet, has, uh, has water coverage. And now we have power over there. We'll hit play. And let's zone some more residents over here. So, I 
Hmm. Right there. No, let's let's dezone a little bit. So this, all this is going to be the other side of the park. So we'll have a little bit of a park here. In fact, just so that I know later, let's let's paint a park area. I don't think I want those houses right there. We'll do a little bit of a buffer. Oh, they're commercial businesses. Okay, that's fine. Commercial's fine right next to the park. That's okay. And then while we have the park tool out, we'll make a little park over here. Now, for it to technically be a park or make any money, unfortunately, we have to uh, put gates in there. But if you have road access, you can do some other things too. But we haven't unlocked those buildings yet, so we'll unlock them on the main park. And then uh, we'll be able to pop those down in other parks. Again, as long as they have uh, road access. So we need a lot more industry. So should we expand our farmland some more? I think that we should. So we still don't have enough resources to feed the animals. That that just that just went away as I said that. That's perfect. So these were a little bit behind. So maybe these will uh, work out enough resources in a, in a few minutes. So we'll come back to that. But let's. Let's kind of continue, I think, with that same pattern. We'll do a couple of fields. So which one is this? This is the crop fields, small fruit field, crop field. And then we will do another animal pasture, and this one we can do sheep. So if we go to the inspector and interact with the object, we can change that now the sheep might need water before it's active maybe I don't know Let's see if that uh, does the trick where are my sheep at so these are what apples We've got a couple fields of wheat. Not enough resources yet. Looks like we are uh, we're we're starting in on the production now. Cuz now we're feeding the cows and uh, and then we can start to turn them into animal products. Sorry cows. Okay, so we're almost at level 2. That's actually really cool. So we've got plenty of workers and we just need to basically wait to produce units, which is just constantly happening. You'll notice trucks coming and going. If there's excess goods, they will look to export those or sell those to businesses. Um, so it's not wasted, but you can make it more efficient by kind of keeping it in the supply chain. We also have the ability to do forestry uh, industry now. And maybe we could set up some of that right here. It looks like we've got a pretty good spot. We don't have a new area yet, do we? Let me see where we're at milestone-wise. I forget. We did hit 1800. That did unlock a new area for us. So, oh, let's pause. Let's see what we unlock because I see death happening, which means we must have unlocked cemeteries at some point. So, um, I don't think we defined any districts yet. We did take out our second loan. We put in police and fire. We didn't look at uniques. We haven't done any special zoning yet. As far as uh, commercial or um, the green city's houses. So at 1100 we unlock park areas, industry areas. We did that. Landscaping we know. Uh, event policies, park policies. So let's see. Nothing that I think we need to worry about just yet. 
advanced automation, improved worker safety, improved logistics. Let's take a look at those because those are industry specific policies. So let's jump into policies. These can be applied either to the entire city or to a district itself. Automated sorting looks like something we unlock later on. Introducing automated sorting to post sorting facilities and post offices around your city will increase not only mail capacity, but also sorting rate increases mail capacity by 10% cost 300 credits poor city post service building. Poor? Did I say poor or per? I feel like I said poor. Um, city planning. Okay, here we go. Here's some of that stuff. Filter industrial waste. I, I may as well talk about that one because I, I don't know if that... It, it's probably new to console players. Um, industrial buildings need to filter their waste, making them pollute the ground a lot less, and it's an upkeep cost. This can be good until you get Eden Project, and at that point you don't need stuff like this because it's going to clean it all up for you. Uh, workers Union, strong presence in the city, provides the workers with better benefits and increases their morale, but also reduces tax income. Slightly increased adult citizen happiness, reduced residential income by 2%. That's not too bad. Uh, automated tolls. Vehicles no longer need to stop. So you got easy pass, basically, and increases the vehicle flow through toll booths, reduces toll booths income by 30%. I guess people speed through and don't pay sometimes. Um, and then over here, events. What were those ones that we unlocked? Where are those? Did I skip over them in the services? Oh, no, they're industry specific. So you have to interact with the industry. Info. Industry area policies. Okay. I should have known that. That's where they are for the parks. <clears throat> So improved logistics, packing and scheduling of deliveries is more efficient due to advanced inventory and vehicle tracking systems, increases the storage capacity of extractors and processing buildings by 20%, increased upkeep cost of industrial buildings, uh, improved worker safety, safety at work is supervised more carefully with strict standards, increases worker health, cost one credit per affected worker, and then uh, advanced automation. Robots and other automated systems make the production process faster and more accurate. Increases production output by 10%. Increases building upkeep by 10%. What's our upkeep? 352 per week? We can afford that. That's fine. Um, which knocks our profit down, but we should be making stuff faster. So we'll, we'll keep an eye on that. In the meantime, let's hit play. How close are we? We're so close to level 2. Let's see what we unlock at level two industry. Okay. Flour mill, bakery, farm workers barracks, cattle shed, small barn. Let's take a look through those buildings and see what we got. Uh, let's go all the way back to the beginning. So we had our main, oh no, we had our main building. We have a workers barracks now, $10,000 cost. Increases the work efficiency of the workers in the industry area. Each building increases the work efficiency by 5% up to a maximum of 100%. So these stack just kind of like they do in Tropico. Auxiliary buildings need to be placed inside industry areas. So, see, where can, we put the, can we get two of these right here? That would be awesome. So we could add a second one there if we want to. I'm not going to do that yet. I don't want to bankrupt our town but we will slowly but surely improve this industry area bit by bit. We already talked about the crop and fruit fields. We had the animal field before as well. These are small versions. There are also, uh, I wanna say medium and large. Yeah, medium and large versions of each one of those or small and large in the case of animal pasture. So now we have things like flour mill and bakery. There's a bakery somewhere. So the flour mill is a processing building, requires crops, uh, flour mills grind crops into flour and package it for transportation. Processing buildings need to be placed inside the industry area. So you're inputting crops and outputting flour. Whereas here, we're inputting crops and outputting animal products. With the cattle shed, 
Again, you're inputting crops and outputting animal products. Cattle sheds are well-ventilated buildings used to raise cattle and provide them with shelter against harsh weather. This processing building requires crops to produce farming specialty goods, specifically animal products. And again, needs to be placed inside the area. So do we... I don't want to demo our cattle. Let's give them a new shed, though. Let's see what this looks like. So, not enough resources. I'm thinking we have, what, one, two, three, four, five, six fields producing crops for one, two, three, four. So, let's add two more. Just so that we have, what, two per building at that point, right? So, we'll come over to gravel roads. I'm going to continue this around the farmland here. And then that way we can get a couple more farm buildings in here. Uh, not animal pasture. No, we want more crops. Now, if we find that we have an excess of crops, we can always add more animal pastures to turn those crops into something more productive than just simply wheat or oranges or apples. So that is off to a decent start. We'll have to let it fill in some more with workers. Let's take a look. We were at just under 1100 for profit, I think, before. We're at 1400 now, so we are increasing the ability to make money with this zone, which is good. We should meet our workers, no problem. So you can see that we've got uh, on the left hand side 420 slots for workers we have 330 employed we need 350 for the next level and then it's just a waiting game to produce 15,000 units of goods so that should be okay let's let's hope that that's on autopilot for now and let's figure out where we can get a forestry area in um, areas that looks pretty good Let's take a look again. So if we go to areas, I think the two that make the most sense are here or here to buy next. And I wouldn't mind putting the forestry up here, kind of tucked away from everything, rather than over here where we're going to have more of our city built to the left of the highway and below that highway. So to the left of this, basically I want to build my city right, right there, what you see on screen effectively. So let's tuck the forest industry up there and let's buy that tile next. So we are making decent money, but we gotta be careful with our budget because we don't wanna run out commercial problems, an industrial problem. Oh no, that was all, that's all commercial park over here. Not enough customers. So maybe we need to get some more residents somewhere over here before we go up there and, and get too crazy with the uh, the farmland or the forestry land rather let's keep this kind of farmland edge of the map feel so there'll be a main road that kind of carries through here but let's do a gravel road for some houses so let's freeform this just to do something a little different. Now I don't want to put them right on the road. I want to separate them out from the farming a bit. This will hopefully help with that not enough customers problem if we move some people in a little bit closer. We'll do that and we'll put a couple more people in back here. And then at, at some point, I don't want to waste the money now on trees, but I will kind of fill in this space right here with trees. 
provide a little bit of privacy, a little bit of noise dampening from the industry area over here. So with that out of the way, let's carry on our road. And let's bring it up right along the edge of this forest and then right smack through this. So that can be our new forestry area. And again, we can do some smaller neighborhoods through here. Definitely some more good farmland. So we can kind of spread things out, mix and match it, and just keep building as we go, tacking stuff on. Um, let's see here. So back over to industries. Let's paint a new area right up here. We don't want this to eat into the farming land. So let's claim all this coast in the name of forestry. Dale Sector. Why is everything Dale? It was Dale's re Dale Region, Dale Sector. Um, forestry. Who's into forestry? You know who's into forestry? Uh, they like shrubberies. The Knights of Knee. Technically the Knights who say Knee, but we're going to go with the Knights of Knee. Knights of Knee Forestry. Okay. So, all this zone is defined. So, we could basically start right here. Let's start right here and then we know we can kind of work our way into the zone. So we want this one to be forestry. So we're going to place a forestry building. Sawmill, tree plantation, log yard. So let's take a look at those. So obviously we need a tree plantation. We need we need trees. That's that's the most basic ingredient of a forestry area. So small tree plantation can be used to cultivate alder, beech, or conifers. All extractor variations produce raw forest products. So this is an extractor. It's going to do raw forest products. Let's pause it for a second. Now, see how those trees look very different from what they're sitting next to in this area. We can inspect this building, change it, and let's change it to conifers, and then it'll blend in much better in our area here with the other conifer trees. Uh, we'll get power and water over here in a minute. So we have also a sawmill. Input trees, output logs. Or planned timber. Planed timber? Planed timber, right? Planed timber. Planned timber? I planned it that way. Um, so, again, you're, you're taking something from that first thing that you're growing, crops or in this case, trees, and then outputting it to animal products, or in this case, timber. So that is the sawmill. Let's go ahead and drop 15,000 bucks. Man, okay, let's play on three times speed. Let's not bankrupt ourselves yet because we haven't got power and water over here yet. So let's let some trees grow while we do that. Let's carry this all the way down to the end of that road. So that's half the battle. The other half is power, and we can extend that from here. I'm going to come out to the coast so that we don't overwrite all those trees. Just to keep it looking a little bit more natural over here. Okay, power and water. Let's wait till our money is up. Let's see. Let's see how much these last two buildings are going to cost. So 15000 for the sawmill, which produces timber. And this one... Small storage yard for storing raw forest products. Storage building. So basically, here's how this works. So you have your, your main building. And we're producing trees right here. You can see because they're in a very tight, neat row. And then you can do one of two things. You can make timber out of it or you could store it. So if you have an excess of, of what you're growing and you don't have a way to store it, it's just going to sit here and not get processed into anything. So you've got trees that are waiting because the other buildings 
can't do anything with it yet because they're already maxed out. So storage will let you store that so that as buildings need it, they can pull it out of storage instead. So let's do a small sawmill. Actually, it's, it's a sawmill. It's not even an option on size. And then what do we have for storage here? $5,000 for a storage yard. Let's do it. And now we've got two industries that should be pretty self-sufficient. Um, they should keep growing and leveling up. Let's see what our requirements are here. So if we go into industry areas, we can actually see the production chain here. And you can see that it takes raw forest products into either timber or paper. We don't have a means of making paper yet, but that is kind of how you can choose right between these different paths. Over on the area info, we just need workers and to produce units. So again, time will sort that out. You can see trucks coming and going. I thought I saw a truck come in there. Did I not? Did it disappear into the building? Okay. So what do we got? A ton of industrial demand. An absolute ton of it. So maybe we extend our, our dirty industry by the highway up here. Because it doesn't seem, and this is kind of weird. Let's see if just putting, just putting any industry area buildings actually do anything to our demand? It doesn't. So that's kind of weird. Like this isn't helping your industry demand. There's still need for industry, which could be met with forestry industry, the old school way. I'm kind of I'm kind of confused about that. So it looks like we still need to do industrial. We could always hold off and try and save all that for office space. I do like that it defaults the new buildings you drop down to whatever the last one was, so I don't have to come in here and change the trees every time if I want them to blend in nicely. So you can see here, not enough goods at the sawmill because those trees are still growing. When they get cut down, they'll come over here and then they'll actually be able to produce timber. And if there's any extra, they can store it over here in the storage yard. But you can see trucks coming and going all along this strip, which is good because they should, for the most part, get out of town right here. This is problematic, but we're going to fix this. We're going to reduce this down to one intersection. Cars and cities get very confused. If there's a car in that intersection that they're going to, they don't proceed until it's out of the intersection. So that kind of slows things down when you have two intersections that are really close together like that. But when we unlock highways, we'll we'll sort all that out. I want to try and get by without doing a rotary or a roundabout there. It'll probably be very efficient, but I want it to kind of have a small town feel. But it's not going to be a small town ultimately. I'd like to go get all the milestones this time. We're just going to spread it out a little bit more try and be smart about spreading out highway exits and putting them in appropriate places that support the population. We'll see though, if we have to, we can gut this and make it a roundabout, but I'm gonna try not to because then we would have to destroy these two competing BBQ restaurants. Which one would you go to? Looks like a lot of people are choosing that one on the right. And by a lot, I mean like those two people that I saw walk in there. But yeah, that's, this is, that's, not where you open up a franchise next to another franchise. I don't know who thought that was a good idea. Okay, garbage problems. Where is our recycling plant? Our recycling plant is way over here. Let's see if it is a capacity problem or most likely problem is getting over there. Oh, no, it's pro processing is not, not helping. So let's extend the street up because I'm just going to blow out. Okay, one more. One more plant here. No. Let's start moving up the street, because if I move out in the industry, that's not helping our massive industrial demand that we've got going on right now. So uh, let's do another street in behind here. I think if we come over 12, I can get power plants back to back. Let me check and confirm that before I get too happy with my road layout here. Yeah, you can put them back to back. That's perfect. Okay. So we'll save this area for power plants right here until we eventually upgrade to more eco-friendly versions. 
And in the meantime, let's extend this up so we can get some more industrial over here by the highway. How many was that? 1160. It must have been, must have been to there. Okay, so let's meet that industrial demand for now. Fill all this in. Keep polluting over here. Go all the way down. We'll go all the way down. We'll fill this in with trees so that when you're driving in, you won't see the polluted ones in the back. Hopefully you'll just see the good green ones off by the highway. I kind of like this divided highway approach too. We could have trees all the way up the middle. I think that would be kind of cool. And then it will eventually merge down into a two-way, two-lane highway. And then we'll have a, a stoplight down here. Garbage problems galore. Now, I wonder, for those of you that have watched some of my streams, I had this exact same problem on this map where vehicles wouldn't spawn correctly. So so the uh, the garbage vehicles would just constantly be at zero. It would say, you know, one of one of 20 in use, and then it would immediately jump back down to zero. So I hope this is not a glitch that I'm going to continue to encounter on this map. So let's look at our recycling plants. Let's inspect them. Uh, where are my recycling plants? Oh, I only have one recycling plant. 13 to 15 trucks in use. Okay, so that's that's good. Let's get... I think I was going to add a second one, and then I didn't. I wanted to move stuff around. Let's let that catch up. That does not even get us into the yellow. And we're pretty good in green. We're, we're just barely getting into the gray over there. So we'll have another recycled plant somewhere off to the edge of the map that will service these buildings over here. We'll come up with something. But it looks like, yeah, garbage is a serious problem right now. Now you can see all these trucks that are coming into the industry zone. That's not helping anything out. We'll have to figure out another exit for them. Maybe we even do this. We could spin an exit off of this strip, like right here and force the trucks to come off this way and then say like no heavy traffic right here. That could work. So as soon as we unlock highways, let's see when that is. Oh, it already happened. <laughs> I am way behind on, uh, on my milestones apparently. Do we have intersections? We don't have enough money. $16,000 for a three-way. It's more expensive than Vegas. hey -o. Um Sorry, really inappropriate. Uh, <laughs> then again, if you knew what I mean, you have a dirty mind. And if you didn't, then that's fine. Uh, we need police and fire over here for sure, right? Woo, a lot of red. I'm sure Kung Fu and Decoy will be very happy with that. Um, let's see. We have zoned this off back here in residential, right? People just aren't moving in. They're not finding that area appealing. They'd rather be over here where the water isn't. Did I water this? It's a water availability thing. Uh, budget or or time to add? That's night. Okay, so we're good there for a little bit. Yeah, so what do we do here? We need to we need to get a highway in over here, I think. And again, we'll do a heavy traffic ban over here and force the industry traffic to just come into this side of the map all on its own, not interfering with any of the residents or this space. The other thing is I don't think city service vehicles are affected, so recycle trucks should still be able to come through there. I don't know why I keep looking at this. That's not recycling, is it? Where is recycling? <laughs> Uh, oh, it's over here. Looks kind of similar. They, they blend in really well. 
Okay, let's do that. Let's uh, borrow some money so we can do this highway project. Loans, do we have any loans? We can take this loan back out. That's good, that'll come in handy. So three times speed at 29%, everybody's gonna hate me, but they're gonna love it when they don't have crazy amounts of industrial traffic clogging up their roads. You can thank me later for all this money I'm robbing out of your pockets. We don't have that much growth going on, so it's not gonna be too big of a drain on them. It should be enough to get our highway project out of the way, though. People are still moving in. It's a beautiful city. Just has horrible tax rate right now. Okay, there we go. Back into economy. Reset the taxes. They've changed some things in the UI where it's a little easier to tell like what, which one you're highlighting, right? But it's almost tougher to see where the slider is. They've done that with the tools too. So when you have a tool selected, it kind of highlights that in blue and grays everything else out. So interesting little changes. Uh, let's hit play for a minute. Make sure everybody's happy with taxes. See what they're not happy with. Uh, oh yeah, I think I said this a couple minutes ago and then I forgot. We definitely unlocked cemeteries and I haven't added one in yet. So let's throw one right towards the edge of our park. We'll do it there. That should be good. That should cover the residential area well enough, I think, right? Let's let it play and see. It's all pretty much in the green. We can do another one up here somewhere. In fact, let's just do one here before we start another neighborhood. We'll have a little bit of a dead zone and space things out here or there. So we've got this little area that's for our elementary school. Uh, man, I miss Watch It. Let's let's do a quick Watch It. And, and by that, I mean there's a mod on PC that shows you these statuses on screen all the time. So fire coverage is a little light over here. We'll find a spot kind of on our main street for... Um, for another uh, fire station. We'll take a chance for now, though. Uh, crime rate's good. Again, coverage a little light on the left side of our map. Healthcare, we're doing good. Education, not a lot of not a lot of kids in that one elementary school. We do have high school now, don't we? So let's go ahead and add that in. We're gonna do the cheap versions for now. We're gonna do some green neighborhoods later on. Let's see, where can we put a high school? Let's put the high school... Maybe we do something like this with the high school. Put the high school here. Let's do that. Let's move this elementary. We'll put it on the edge of this road that comes into the high school. And then we'll throw the high school up here. And I think that looks a little better. It fills the space in a little bit more. We can have still have a playground, a little play space for the kids over here. Um, and then maybe we can do... What do we have for park buildings? Do we have some kind of sports arena? Some unnamed sport arena? I mean, sure. <laughs> let's, let's give the kids some place to get some exercise in. Uh, let's... do this go to roads we'll extend this one out a bit and we'll go back to parks and we'll throw in one of each side by each aka side by side so basketball and tennis already there. look at that they're already playing. Now, just like the uh, the curling arena, this never changes. I think it's that person on the left that's constantly getting beat. This guy's just getting dunked on. Red versus blue. Look at this. This is all day long. You score, you get the ball back. The people cheering on the side. That's great. Why don't they play two on two? Nobody else. Like, just get some two-on-two. Two. Greedy. 
Greed is what that is. So let me see. Can we can we make this a little more symmetrical? Is this, is this stupid if I do this? So let's see. Come in one click shy. Okay. We definitely want to go check that stuff out. And then can I move this over? Let's see here. Hold on. Hold on. Let's do this right. We're going to come over... Let's see. Where's five? Five is right there. Six, seven. And I don't think it'll let me click eight with the magnet on, so we'll just do seven. So that is five, six, seven. And then let's move the tennis court off to the other side. Just for some symmetry. And some shade, apparently, too. Wow. Tough to see in that light. Isn't... Isn't the sun at high noon when you have day night off? I guess not. It's, it's set in the morning or it stops wherever it was, I guess. Um, okay, we've got... We've got not a lot of money in the bank. Did I spend that much on schooling? I was going to do a highway project and then I... Then I got totally sidetracked. But I think we needed those things more than we needed that highway exit. So, uh, elementary is good for now. High school's good. We will scan through that, but let's see what else I forgot about the previous milestones. So we haven't done districts, specializations. So we have park paths and things like that. Landscaping canals, fences. We could drop in a couple parks. Could have done the sports hall and gymnasium, I guess, on the, the high school property. That would be kind of cool. We'll do that. We'll save that for our next our next high school. We'll do maybe a creative arts institute and add some other buildings to that as we need more support. What's up with power? Is it is it time for another plant already? Electricity at one hundred percent. Info views. Man, so there goes all that money. So much for that highway project. Constant battle. Let's call it quits there. I take it back. Man, this is a long episode. I apologize. If you stay tuned, I appreciate it. Um, let's do this. Let's take one look at what we've unlocked for our farming area. Oh, we don't have enough cash for most of it anyways. We're paused. We unlocked a milking parlor. So it still produces just raw animal products. You're getting the exact same thing from this field, from this building, from the milking parlor. You're getting quote unquote animal products. Uh, they just have different looks, right? Then you have a grain silo for storing raw materials, specifically crops. We could drop one of those in just for fun. We'll do a small grain silo next to this, and then we'll have some other grain silos later on. Barn is used for storing crops. Same thing as the silo, so, you know, it's just a different appearance, right? A lot of these buildings have kind of redundant functions, so we'll, we'll dive into that some more. Did I not water over there? Oh, man. Money. Money's tight. You start messing around with any of these DLCs, your money just evaporates immediately. So let's call it quits there. Let's let it play. Make sure that these problems are sorted out. It looks like I'm going to need to get better police coverage over here because they figured out the this neighborhood is not well covered. They're in the, the back alleys causing problems. Here we go. There's an arrest. There's another cop car coming. You going to that house? Just driving right by. It was a quick one. You scared him off. All right. Well, sorry for the... I feel like this is a long episode. If you stayed tuned this long... Hey, next milestone. Talk about that next time. Actually, we'll talk about the one we didn't finish next time, and we'll get into that when we can. But we've got a little money in the bank now, thanks to that. That is good. 
we'll meet some of that demand that we have in the next episode. We'll keep expanding neighborhoods. We'll build some parks, focus on some more industries. So there's tons and tons to do. Hopefully you're enjoying Wood Garden so far. If you are, likes, comments, and shares all help the channel a lot and are greatly appreciated. If you're new here, subscribe. Hit the bell to get notifications for updates on this series and others. Follow me on Twitter and join the Discord if you want to get involved in the discussion with other like-minded fans of the channel and of cities. And until the next one, this is Move the Mouse, signing off.